Hey guys, I got another ammo update for you guys today. Uh, this one deals with what's going on with the ammo shortage. And this one comes from a high ranking official. So I tend to put a little bit of credit to what he's saying. So stick around and we'll get right into it. So this video comes to us from Jason Vanderbrink, who happens to be the president and CEO of CCI and Federal. In this video, he's gonna outline what's going on with the current situation, how they plan to get through the situation, and what they're doing to ensure that all of us have the freedom tools that we need at this current time. Guys, if you haven't seen this video, I highly encourage that you watch the entire thing. I'm also gonna drop a link down below um, to give credit to CCI and Jason for the video that they put out. They also put out one, um, I believe it was a couple months ago when that one hit over 2 million views. So this one's gonna be uh, viral pretty soon as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi hey everyone, I'm Jason Vanderbrink, president of CCI Federal Spear and Remington Ammunition. The last video we did had been viewed over 2 million times so far. So our, our gratitude and appreciation goes to all of our loyal customers who had viewed it, had shared it with your friends. So you can understand the shortage of ammunition as we see it as a major manufacturer. So I think what we wanted to do since we received over 13,000 comments was to answer some of those questions and concerns and be transparent with our customer base. So I think it's appropriate and we're gonna attempt to answer some of those questions right now. One that first came up and lots of different questions on it, what are we doing for the health of our workforce? Certainly since the pandemic hit, uh, health of our workers is paramount to our company. That, that health of our workforce is number one. So we're strictly adhering to the CDC guidelines, work from home for all the office personnel has been in place for several, several months. We are temperature checking, we are requiring masks, we are requiring social distancing, we are restricting the amount of people that come to our factories. So we have a very, very good track record of doing proactive initiatives to keep our workforce very healthy and their families healthy as well. Another question that came up, which I get asked every day, rightfully so, is where is all the hunting ammo this year? So I gotta say, without giving specific numbers, Federal's been around for 99 years. We've made more hunting ammunition this year in, than we have in the 99 years of our company. Certainly that wasn't enough. Um, we understand that, but it's safe to say we put out a lot more hunting ammo in 2020 than we have in 2019 and any other previous year of our 99 year history. I think it's a good thing with the social distancing that hunting brings, we saw an influx of new hunters this year, which is exactly what our industry needs. It's the, there is not a better social distancing activity than hunting, or if you do it because you like the organic meat. Whatever the reason, we need to ensure that hunting ammunition is available going forward because we don't want to lose all of the new hunters that the industry has gained, whether it be us or one of our competitors. Frankly, we love what we see as far as the demographic and the new entrance into the market, and hunting ammunition is just, there, it's just a, the lifeblood of all of our companies. So bear with us, stick with us. Trust me that we are doing everything we can to fulfill that market. I don't know about you, but seeing all that empty warehouse still in the back of the video does not make me feel any better. But to see the growth that we saw in hunting market in such a short amount of time, no company could react that fast. It takes raw materials, it takes direct labor. Um, so we certainly were proactive in a lot of that. Um, but at the same time, increasing capacity that quick just certainly wasn't uh, possible. But rest assured, we made a lot more hunting ammo in 2020 than we have in the 99 year history of our company. Another very important question that's on a lot of people's mind is what are we doing with primers? The answer is very, very simple on primers. As the ammunition demand continues to surge, the primer market suffers because the primer capacity, instead of going to the commercial market so reloaders can use our primers, that capacity is now going to feed our internal needs to produce all of the Remington CCI Federal Spear ammunition. You know, I give Jason props for even mentioning primers. He could have just left this out of his video, but he manned up and he put it in his video so all of us know exactly what's going on with 
the primers nowadays. So if the market on ammunition is very hot, as it is today, historically, the primer market suffers because all manufacturers use primer capacity to service their needs in their own factories before selling the primers off as excess. So another question that comes out of this, which is right, a right question, is why don't we just increase capacity? I, I've seen lots of comments, so why don't you just build another factory? Well, we gotta go back for the last three years prior to March when the uh, surge started, there was a lot of excess capacity into the market. So with ex excess capacity, it didn't make any sense to expand capacity even more. So we wanna utilize our factories at capacity as much as we can and if we made a, an investment today, it's several years before we're going to see more capacity come to the market. But we can't simply just build a new factory or simply just expand. It doesn't happen that fast. So bear with us. There's nothing going on on the primer shortages. It is strictly going to feed Federal Remington CCI Spear factories first. So hopefully that helps answer some of the questions that we got from the last video. I think going forward, we'll do more of these and certainly we have a fun one coming up with what we're doing at Remington. But I just wanted to say thank you for all of the business. And again, as we are supporting American manufacturing jobs, whether it be the thousands of people, thousands of employees that we employ in Idaho, Arkansas, Minnesota, or the other US manufacturers, when you go to buy ammunition, just remember, American manufacturing is the heart of this country. We have to support American manufacturing where we can. And we, again, thank you for using our products. Thank you for our confidence. And on behalf of the thousands of our employees, thank you.